Arroyo Grande is looking to bring more tourists to the area and they're hoping an online push will do the trick. KSBY News reporter Molly Casey talked with business owners and the Chamber of Commerce about this new move. Molly, what are they saying? Well, Karina, Arroyo Grande residents and business owners are proud of their small town, but now the city council is looking to hire a marketing firm to bring in visitors from near and far. So we like the village. It's kind of a neat little place off, off the track. Two lanes lined by homegrown shops, but some say Arroyo Grande is often passed over. Well, the village itself has seemed to have uh, slower customers. Sales are down for, for most of us. Ginger Taylor owns the Village Antique Shop and says while she is proud of her town, business could use a lift. We often thought about something with a big arrow or a billboard or something pointing to the village so they'd come off the highway. A big arrow might not be installed, but a new plan from the Tourism Business Improvement District could help bring visibility to Arroyo Grande online. So we're going out um, for proposals for marketing companies. We really want to be out there and have an internet presence on Instagram and Facebook and all those venues. CEO of Arroyo Grande and Grover Beach Chamber of Commerce Jocelyn Brennan says the $200,000 marketing plan aims to bring in tourists to shops and events. We have the Jazz Jubilee, we have the Summer concert series, there's a beer fest, there's the strawberry festival. The money to pay for the plan comes from a 2% tax taken from hotel bills in AG and business owners are ready to pitch in too. Whatever help we could get and however we could participate would be super. Now there is some concern that there might be an issue with parking in downtown Arroyo Grande should there be a boom in tourism, but Brennan says they'll put in signs to direct those visitors to park and parking behind the businesses. Live in Arroyo Grande, Molly Casey, KSBY News. All right, Molly, thanks for that. And the Chamber of Commerce is accepting marketing proposals until March 2nd. The plan will go into place at the start of the next fiscal year in July.